Amnesty International released a report outlining how Facebook and Google abuse human rights amid its increasing dominance over the new global public square controlling the main channels. The company's surveillance-based business model forces people to make a Faustian bargain, whereby they are only able to enjoy their human rights online by submitting to a system predicated on human rights abuse. The report accuses Google and Facebook of violating the right to privacy on an unprecedented scale, as well as freedom of expression. Not only does it represent an intrusion into billions of people's private lives that can never be necessary or proportionate, but the companies have conditioned access to their services on consenting to processing and sharing of their personal data for marketing and advertising, directly countering the right to decide when and how our personal data can be shared with others. It also accuses Facebook of hidden manipulation for political ad targeting. The use of micro-targeting for political messaging can also limit people's freedom of expression by creating a curated worldview inhospitable to pluralistic political discourse. Amnesty's report has only confirmed what has long been known as both tech giants have been caught red-handed countless times. The world's eyes were opened to the risk these tech platforms posed back in 2018 by the Facebook Cambridge Analytica data scandal. Data from 87 million people's profiles were harvested and used to micro-target and manipulate people for political campaigning purposes. And it looks like we still haven't learned all the lessons. Last week, a report in the Wall Street Journal revealed that Google partnered with healthcare provider Ascension to secretly collect and store medical records on millions of patients across 21 states, all after the company failed to convince convince customers to hand over their medical data voluntarily. Meanwhile, Facebook has vividly denied the latest allegations made by Amnesty International. A person's choice to use Facebook services and the way we collect, receive or use data, all clearly disclosed and acknowledged by users, cannot meaningfully be likened to the involuntary and often unlawful government surveillance. So, is there a way for users to keep their data safe? Well, the report says there is. But it will take a radical overhaul of the way big tech operates. It calls for the launch of data protection laws to make the system more humane. But is there a place in real life for an internet that has human rights at its core?